We'll be discussing testing, measurement, assessment, and evaluation. Let us have first testing. Testing is a formal, systematic procedure for gathering information. A test is a tool comprised of a set of questions administered during a fixed period of time under comparable conditions for all students. It is an instrument used to measure a construct and make decisions. Educational tests may be used to measure the learning progress of a student which is formative in purpose or comprehensive covering a more extended time frame which is summative. So let us have now the measurement. Measurement is a quantitative description of an object's characteristic or attribute. In science, measurement is a comparison of an unknown quantity to a standard. There are appropriate measuring tools to gather numerical data on variables such as height, mass, time, temperature, among others. In the field of education, what do teachers measure and what instruments do they use? Teachers are particularly interested in determining how much learning a student has acquired compared to a standard or in reference to other learners in a group. They measure particular elements of learning like their readiness to learn, recall of facts, demonstration of specific skills, or their ability to analyze and solve applied problems. They use tools or instruments like tests, oral presentations, written reports, portfolios, and rubrics to obtain pertinent information. Among these, tests are the most pervasive. A quantitative measure like a score of 30 out of 50 in a written examination does not hold meaning unless interpreted. Measurement stops once a numerical value is ascribed. Making a value judgment belongs to evaluation. We are now in assessment. Assessment is the process of gathering evidence of students' performance over a period of time to determine learning and mastery of skills. Such evidence of learning can take the forms of dialogue record, journals, written work, portfolios, tests, and other learning tests. Assessment requires review of journal entries, written work, presentation, research papers, essays, story written, test results, and many others. The overall goal of assessment is to improve student learning and provide students, parents, and teachers with reliable information regarding students' progress and extent of attainment of the expected learning outcomes. Assessment results show the more permanent learning and clear picture of the student's ability. We are now in evaluation. Evaluation originates from the root word value. And so when we evaluate, we expect our process to give information regarding the worth appropriateness, goodness, validity, and legality of something for which a reliable measurement has been made. It is a process designed to provide information that will help us to make a judgment about a particular situation. The end result of evaluation is to adopt, reject, or revise what has been evaluated. It can help educators determine the success of their academic programs and signal efforts to improve student learning. And it asks the question, how good? Okay, that's all. Again, we're talking about testing or tests, assessment, measurement, and evaluation. Thank you, everyone. And God bless.